It's a bridge. Just get over it. <laughs> They've restroyed this area, muddied up what used to be muck, as if it wasn't bad enough before the tribe war began. That's the Jagni tribe's fort. Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war or part of the problem. Let's see. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Says just because you've made time to meet the Sifu doesn't mean he has time for you. But you're welcome to give it a try. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. 
The Sifu is determined to let the World Eaters destroy the Tree of Life as it's part of their strategy to cleanse the world and start anew. He welcomes you to the Jagni Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. The news of a cold-blooded ronin crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 preceded you. The wall that separates them from the other side, the wasteland you came from. He guesses the time spent there just left a blank space in your memory, as empty and barren as the wasteland itself. He understands that sometimes we need to lose ourselves to find ourselves, but he's glad you chose to come here. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. Sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it was based on unarmed combat and the six weapons, the boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land and there are rivals in all directions. Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. Says fear and hatred is the only path to domination, but you already know that. So embracing that side of you and helping them vanquish the tribes and letting the world eaters destroy the Tree of Life should be an easy decision. He expected you'd join them. You understand that the universe runs on the principle that the one who dominates others runs the show. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can vanquish the other tribes. The one he wants to deal with first is the Myriad tribe. The Myriad are too good to be true. They might believe in the greater good and a code of honor, but uniting the tribes and saving the Tree of Life won't change anything. You must stop living in the past. Their kin must put an end to the war before war puts an end to them. It'll cost bruises and broken bone, but they refuse to be the victim here. They have no intention of letting this drag out, or they'll run the risk of teaching the enemy their art of war. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Perfetta. You both share dark thoughts, so they want to wage a war. A war where all that's left behind is casualties. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've conquered the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu for control of their territory, tribe weapon and kin. The only kin who count are the kin that are left standing at the end of the war. Let's focus on making that our kin, not theirs. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. 
zum Elam dat nete. Novi, novi. Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. Novi, novi. Oh, he remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Oh, anyway, you'll pass your old village on your way to the first rival outpost, but we've got no time to be sentimental. War doesn't wait. He can't blame you for not remembering, but he can sense the stillness of something lost. The tree remains intact, but you must all make a change to save it. Says you're welcome back. The gatekeeper welcomes you back to the fort. Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially, deformed and unfurred. 